Hey everybody, welcome to the Called Express YouTube channel. My name's Abby. I'm really excited to be here with Yellow Pain today. We're talking about his single, My Vote Don't Count. And he's also now working with vote.org, which is super exciting. He's super passionate about getting people educated on what it means to be an informed voter and how important it is to vote. So Yellow Pain, thanks for being here with me today. Hey, what's going on? It's my pleasure. I'm honored to be here, for sure. Excited to talk to you. So my first question is just tell me a little bit more about yourself, maybe something that we wouldn't find on Google and tell me about how you got started and what makes you excited about music and voting and all that good stuff. Yeah, um, so um, I'm from Dayton, Ohio, um, born and raised. Um, I started rapping at seven years old. Um, I got inspired by my older cousin. He was like a gangster rapper and um, I wanted to be like him because he was like getting the girls and stuff. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but uh, um, you know, I, my parents had found one of my raps when I was younger and they seen some of the stuff I was talking about. Um, they didn't like that. So um, <laughs> to me, you know, being more inspirational and conscious. Mm -hmm. That's For awesome. Sure. I yeah. love the shirt too. That's a really great shirt. <laughs> That's awesome. And that's pretty much exactly what we want to talk about today is how important it is for everybody to get out and vote and that everybody's vote does count and that it's super important that we all get informed. So tell me a little bit more about the inspiration behind My Vote Don't Count. And the sentiment that I got was it was kind of walking through your journey as you got to know a little bit more about politics and just elections, the processes around that and how you started out thinking that your vote didn't count and how now you understand how important it is that you're a part of this. So can you tell me more about that? Yeah, most definitely. So my cousin, Desiree Tim, she's running for Congress in the Tim District of Ohio, which is like the Dayton, Ohio area where I'm born and raised. And um, um, she came to me and she was like, cuz I think you should make a song about like politics. Um, Cause you know, people don't know a lot about it. And I was like, cuz, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool on that. Like, I love you, but I'm not into politics. I, I had no political background. I didn't know anything about politics. So I was like, no, I'm cool, you know? And she was like, well, I think, you know, you got a platform and you know, you should use it for that. And, you know, I explained to her, um, she asked me like, why don't you believe in politics? And I said, well, you know, I, I voted for Obama, you know, back in, um, was it 2012, I believe. And, um, and uh, I felt like nothing, you know, nothing changed. And um, I don't, you know, I had no idea. And then she explained to me how it all works. She explained to me um, about more than just the presidential election and, you know, the state, local, you know, and how everything works and how everything that we get, like how much money we get every two weeks is directly tied to certain laws and bills that, you know, affect our areas. And, you know, when she explained it to me, I, I felt kind of upset with myself like why don't i know this stuff you know what i mean like i'm i'm an adult <laughs> like why is, <laughs> why is this not public information why doesn't everybody know this and why isn't it you know that easily accessible so um i wanted to walk people through that same journey that wake up moment that i had that's great yeah you're definitely not alone feeling like you didn't know anything about this process i know that i felt the same way not long ago and that a lot of young Americans probably feel the exact same way right now to this day. So do you think you learned most of what you know now from your cousin? Are there any resources that, or any types of websites or any information hubs that you could recommend to young Americans that are looking for this type of information? Yeah, most definitely. Um, a lot of stuff is, is really public information. I learned a lot from my cousin, but, you know, I went straight to Google, um, you know what I mean? Um, and then also, you know, vote.org, you can go to vote.org and, you know, you can get registered, you can, you know, figure out, you know, just all general information. So mm -hmm. I definitely, um, more so than an easy pathway to find the information, just more so understanding the importance and, you know, how necessary it is to really be, you know, looking for actively. Definitely. And you even now on your Facebook page, I saw that there's a direct link that folks can register to vote right from your Facebook page. So that's super cool. So it's definitely great to just like explore the information that's on there. And then when we have artists like you and folks with a platform that are happy to share that, that's great, especially for younger Americans that maybe don't know where to start. So 
thank you for doing that. It's really important. And I think that, you know, it's great for any musician, any actor, anybody who wants to share that information with their fans and with anybody who comes across them on their platform, that's really helpful. Um, do you think that, if any, does education play a role in getting young voters and, and young Americans to know more about the processes? Do you feel like maybe you missed out on that in school? Yeah, um, to be honest, um, with how important um, voting is, um, you know, with me understanding that now, mm -hmm. I really feel like, you know, that the educational system, you know, has failed us. Um, and, I, and I think it, it needs to be some restructuring, you know, like, I don't think that um, we should learn about the judicial, legislative and executive branch so early and then never, you know, really cover it as much again. Like, I think this is something that should be constantly reminded, you know, like, mm -hmm. uh, I think schools definitely need to really incorporate some serious mandatory government classes so that we can understand. Because even now, you know, I just recently learned about, you know, politics like a year ago, and I was able to break down the general, you know, the general, uh, structure of the government but i'm mm -hmm. still learning, you know and, and it's a yeah. lot of information to take in so with that being said you know this is some some things that people can be you know force fed like early on so that we can understand and be more active yeah i agree i think that it's important especially in late high school you know our juniors and seniors that's our biggest audience here on called express so we like to have a lot of information that maybe they don't learn in school, but a lot of it maybe should be talked about more in school. And I think Gen Z is really good at advocating for themselves about what they want to learn. So they also have all this access to this social media platforms that we didn't have when we were in high school or growing up. And they have all this information right at the tips of their fingers and they're just waiting for it. But I think definitely agree with you that there needs to be more mandatory classes and instruction on all the things that are happening in our government because a lot of us just walk through life not knowing anything about it or what's going on or how it affects us so exactly. yeah so i agree with you for sure um do you have any specific advice for black indigenous poc young americans that feel their local representatives their state representatives and federal congress health representatives have failed them and made them feel as if their votes didn't count and as if their lives don't matter. Do you have anything to say to them and, and kind of encouragement, inspiration, anything of that sort for them? Yeah, most definitely. One thing I will always tell people is that, you know, don't make this about you specifically. You know, mm -hmm. if you feel like uh, nobody did anything for me and it doesn't work for me you have to think bigger than you you have to think about your family your children your children's children and your mm -hmm. children's children's children and then we have to understand that okay you decide you don't want to vote you don't want to participate um in the election understand that there are people that are going to vote <laughs> it's like somebody's going to vote and right. they have you in mind mm -hmm. so it's better to be a part of that and, and vote in your favor, then somebody else make the decisions about your life for you. Right. Yeah, I think it's important to remember that it's totally fine to vote in your own self-interest, but also knowing that there are a lot of people that are gonna be affected by the decisions that are made by our votes. And right. if we don't do that, if we don't advocate for ourselves, somebody else might not. So you're exactly right. I think that it's really important to just do what you need to do and think about how these policies are going to affect you and your life and the ones that you love. And that's why it's so important to get out there and vote. So I'm totally with you on that. Was there anything else that you wanted to share today about your experience and any feedback that you've gotten from people about their experience with voting and elections and everything like that? Yeah, for sure. It's crazy because like, I made this song, um, My Vote Don't Count, and the remix, My Vote Will Count, because um, mm -hmm. I felt like, you know, I didn't have enough information, and I wanted to teach other people, like, you know, my age, like, hey, you know, this is important. And um, I thought, I guess, I, you know, I pretty much knew I would get some responses back from, you know, some young people. And then, like, you know, I got responses back from those people but mm -hmm. also people that were like 70 and 80 years old that was like i can't believe you like i didn't know any of this da, 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 thank you 
<laughs> but it, it just really goes to show how big of a gap it is between civics and everyday life. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm excited to be a part of this journey, but I just really want to um, I just really want to show people the importance of it. And hopefully we can, you know, we can get back active and really make some real change. Absolutely. I think it takes a lot of us getting together in unity and really committing to making these changes that need to happen in this country. And the only way we can do that is by being informed and by getting out there and voting. And I think it's important for us to note too today that it's October, which means you have to register to vote really soon. Um, yeah. Deadlines vary by state, but I know um, here in Massachusetts, it's a little bit later in October, but I know some states it's early October. So everybody, please go register. Um, you can go right to Yellow Pain's Facebook page and register right through his page, or you can do a quick Google search for register in my state. And other than that, I mean, it's great. Yellow Pain's working with vote.org with all of these great resources for people out there. And he's obviously really committed to getting people excited and educated and all that good stuff. And here at Called Express, we're obviously really passionate about that as well. Um, so please do find information, listen to Yellow Pain's single, My Vote Don't Count, and Now My Vote Will Count. Um, viral on YouTube, over 1.8 million views, and then all of his other music as well is awesome. And we're just so excited that you came here and talked to us today. Um, any final notes for us? Yeah, listen, like, we have to, I know that people are like, all right, I'm going to vote, but we have to register to vote. Like, the deadline in Ohio, um, in, where I'm from, is today. Like, okay. yeah. About five o'clock. It's October 5th, so mm -hmm. I in Georgia. I just drove up here last night. Um, oh, wow. You must be exhausted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit, but it is what it is. It's part of the life, the rapper lifestyle. But, mm -hmm. but yeah, I just drove up here because I just feel like, you know, I made the song and, you know, I know people listen to it and they loved it, but I just really need to go to where the people don't care about voting and I need to make sure that we're all registered. So October 5th, if you're in Ohio, I think it's the same in um, Georgia, but wherever you are, if you don't know who to vote for right now, it's okay. You got like 30 days almost, just register ASAP and find out the deadline where you go. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, yeah it was right. great to talk to you. Thank you so much. You're All right, here. Called Express family, thanks again. And again, go to Yellow Pain's Facebook page, go to his YouTube channel. We'll link those below. Thanks for being here. All right, bye.